YouTube. This is Son of Liberty. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new idea that I had about how to carry survival items um, a little bit more discreetly. But that wasn't my primary focus behind the, uh, the design effort behind this. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to come up with a small compact way to be able to add some items to this bag right here. Now this bag is the uh, bag that my wife has quote approved to be inside of her vehicle now um, as most of you men uh, know that uh, women are very specific on what they want to allow to be in their vehicle they don't want anything too tactical they don't um, they don't want anything like this so she had one of these um, nice little day hike uh, packs uh, day hikers from Eddie Bauer and um, so what I've done is I've went through and I've added um, some survival items that I thought would be beneficial to her uh, some additional water and snacks but anyway I, I there was items that I still wanted to add to it that I wanted to be able to either fit in this compartment here or in the center co uh, compartment or to be able to throw in her glove compartment um, if I need some uh, you know additional items so anyway I happened to be at Lowe's and I came across this guy right here now uh, as most uh, some of you guys may know this is a lot of people carry like bits and things of that nature uh, inside this and I happen to be uh, looking it over and I thought well hey this may actually fit my um, idea that I have in my head of, of uh, the, the purpose that I want to use so anyway I picked it up and I started buying some few items let's go ahead and open this up just wanted to do a quick little video of this for you guys um, now I tell you what let's go ahead and let's start with this side here first now um, it's basically a uh, plastic uh, lid uh, basically opens up just like a door on both sides and of course you've got individual compartments uh, you know under the uh, under this door now however I am going to show you one alter uh, alteration that I've done in order to uh, be able to fit something very specific for me so anyway let's go ahead and open this up and start it's uh, it's got a nice locking feature uh, it's a very positive lock um, you can uh, distinctively hear it when you open it or when you lock it and unlock it now what I wanted to do is just add items that could uh, fit in here as well but also to uh, meet very specific needs now we'll start here uh, these little items here what these are are basically many tiny little glow sticks now um, these things will actually uh, glow all night long and they were actually designed this little plastic piece right here you can pull this off and you can feed fishing line through and attach it back on there so that way you can actually use it as a fish attractor um, or you can use it as a, a, a uh, technically a bobber at night in order to be able to see your line um, so uh, I got a couple of these to put in here if I needed just a little bit of light I've used them and tested them at night uh, you can actually read uh, uh, even small books or you know if you're uh, reading your Bible um, you know uh, camping that night or going over some maps uh, it just provides just enough light to be able to see what you need to see in that very uh, precise area now um, here what I've got is basically one of those little tiny items that you'll see inside of a um, oh and, and you'll see these inside of uh, certain little kits it's basically for uh, bug bites you basically uh, pull this uh, bottom piece out and there's some uh, liquid in there that you can apply for bug bites but what I've done is I took 15 pound test fishing line and I t uh, wrapped it all the way around this thing so what it's done is it's given me um, right now I think there's about 30 yards wrapped very tightly with a piece of tape over it uh, to keep all my fishing line securely around this little item so um, basically of course this is going to be my makeshift um, fishing pole once I attach it to a, a stick that's been whittled specifically for the wire now um, I've got some uh, instructions just some different survival tactics here that I've got uh, that comes in most bear grill uh, knives that you'll see um, sometimes I think a lot of people overlook uh, possible stress uh, in a survival situation so you're not going to be able to remember absolutely everything so these little guides right here are just kind of nice and handy to have uh, just in, just in case there's something uh, whether it be uh, uh, to make it easier to tie a specific knot uh, or some other additional survival uh, techniques here I've just got a small little container full of different size hooks 
um, and sinkers inside of here. I've also got, as you can tell, a, uh, a really high vis bobber or float, whatever you decide to call it. Um, inside of here, actually, let me go ahead and open this up. I did forget to mention I've got um, a little, a uh, couple flies in here. I've got some other little worms, little uh, crawdads, anything that I thought would be beneficial uh, for fishing that I could use to keep in this quote emergency little fishing kit. And basically it's just this little section here of my, uh, of my box. Now, here, pretty self-explanatory. Um, have some suturing with a needle. What I've done here now, I can't take credit for this idea. I apologize about the light. I don't have great lighting inside of my garage. Um, what I've done here, and this says iodine, I've taken straws, I've clipped the ends, and then uh, sealed them with a lighter, and then put um, what I needed inside. These are actually iodine tablets uh, that I have uh, took a toothpick and strategically placed inside of here. Uh, for water purification. Um, Southern Prepper One actually um, has this uh, idea that he has shared on his uh, YouTube channel. And I thought, well, hey, that would be a great little uh, addition to my little survival box here. Now, what I've got here is an actual signaling mirror that's been duct taped uh, after it has been at, uh, rolled with a paracord. Now, um, you'll have to forgive me. I cannot remember the exact yardage of paracord. Uh, that is wrapped around here, but it is quite enough to get most jobs done um, than I can foresee um, at this time. So got that. I've just got a, a single wet wipe uh, with Germex. Um, basically, that's just going to enable me to uh, either clean a wound or clean my hands if I have to actually use this for suturing. So um, you want to eliminate um, as much uh, germs as you can, especially if you're working on something like that. What I've got here is two little packets of sugar. If I just need a little extra boost, uh, I can down these little guys right here. And inside of here, I thought, well, also too, it'd be great to have some Neosporin, so I put some Neosporin inside of this one as well. I've got some additional Band-Aids here. I also made sure to invest in a very good pair of tweezers. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard me say on some of my other videos before, uh, if you don't have a really good set of tweezers, um, you're really missing out. And I apologize, this video or this camera is very old and it doesn't auto zoom. So as I get closer with some of the items, uh, they don't come as clear as I would like them to. So I do apologize about that. Uh, I've got some anti-diarrhea medication here, as well as just some other um, ibuprofen, some things of that nature here in this little compartment. And then I've also got some other medicine that I'm waiting to put in into this compartment. Now, one thing that I did do, and the reason that this is specifically here, is to help uh, in addition to cushion uh, this actual signal mirror, because I don't want that to break. Um, but as you can see here, where I have uh, taken a Dremel tool and I've cut this area here and here, and then I've just smoothed that area out so that that way that the things that I needed to specifically fit here, uh, you know, of course would. So that was a, a big deal to me because I really wanted that to fit securely in there. Um, and, and it's really worked out great so far. So um, anyway, let me go ahead and close this and let's move on to flip this around. Let's move on to this uh, other section. All right, I'll tell you what, this time let's start at the top. I've got me a Fox Pro uh, whistle. Any guys that know anything about whistles know that these things are just the absolute bomb. So I figured that, uh, you know, I would put this in here. Uh, your voice is eventually going to give out, but this whistle, you know, you just have to have uh, a little bit of breath to make this go for possibly miles to be heard. Um, Went and got me a, um, a fire striker, okay? Uh, this thing works really, really great. I thought, you know, I need an additional way to be able to start a fire. Um, inside of here, I've got a Streamlight MicroStream uh, flashlight with two additional batteries. Uh, just something to give me a little additional light. 
I've got a Gerber mini tool as well as a small compass. These are one of the compasses that you can purchase to put on a uh, wristwatch. Um, you know, they're usually sold in most sporting goods stores. I've got two wet fire tinder packets uh, to keep in here as well just to ensure um, that I'm able to get a fire if I need one. You know, and a lot of people, I don't think, uh, again, in survival situations, they don't think about, well, if it's extremely cold, what about your dexterity? Your dexterity is going to go in the garbage, uh, and so it's going to be really hard for you to uh, be able to start a fire. So anything that you can help uh, to increase those odds, uh, the more the merrier. Plus two, this stuff will start. It doesn't matter if it's raining or not. Um, here I've got, of course, just a small Bic lighter. Um, I've got the cap for this tube right here of um, super glue, which, I mean, it has a million and one uses. It's kind of like duct tape. The only thing that I don't actually have in here is the small little roll of duct tape, and I'm still working to uh, purchase one of those little packs so that I can put in here uh, somewhere strategically in this kit. Uh, now, I also have one of the last items that I've got here is a mini um, permanent marker, and I chose red. That way I could, uh, this would stand out a lot more on leaves. You know, if I found a large enough, uh, especially like a green leaf, you know, I could, I could place that large leaf. Let's say if this is the leaf, I could place that large leaf uh, maybe on a trail or, um, you know, someplace that maybe where would be seen with a message. And of course I could place rocks on it to make sure that it stays. Um, you know, I could write down notes on my hand. Um, you know, it's just got a, a couple different reasons. And so I wanted to make sure that I had some type of way in order to write um, inside of this. So anyway, if I needed to, um, you know, this, this uh, little uh, emergency uh, guide here, um, if I needed to, I could tear some of that off and write a message and leave that someplace because it's pretty bright. So it would be seen, I think, very easily in the woods um, and maybe attach that. Um, even if I had to attach that with a band-aid to a, uh, a tree. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Also, too, I think because of the size, here's another one that I actually keep uh, tools in. Um, I think because of the size, I think that this would be very advantageous for, let's say, um, Maybe if you ride motorcycles and you've got those, you know, you've got your side saddles or you carry a small pack like this, but you don't have enough room to carry a lot of additional things because you need, let's say a rain jacket, you need additional water, you need some other things um, that you need to on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, this is not gonna take up a whole lot of room and this has a lot of different items that could come in very handy in a survival situation. So, uh, you know, I was also had in mind uh, boaters. Uh, maybe you ride um, off-road with uh, bicycles. You know, if you were to take a fall, this is very, uh, this would protect a lot of your items that are inside, uh, you know, however you want to put this. If you just wanted to make this strictly a medical, um, you know, kit, you could do that. So anyway, I hope that you found some information that might be useful or beneficial to you and your family. As always, stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, this is Son of Liberty. Have a good day, guys.